Hello IOTEX community, my name is Alina, most likely we have already met in IOTEX's Telegram groups, but it's finally nice to meet you all in person. And I'm thrilled to introduce to you IOTALKS, which is just our way of sharing some candid perspectives on the broader blockchain ecosystem as well as IOTEX's team. June is a big month here for IOTEX in terms of the technological unveilings and some of the innovations coming from our technological and research and development teams. Our cryptography leads will be giving two keynote presentations at some of the global blockchain conferences, while the research and development team will release two academic papers on our own privacy and consensus innovations. And of course, the highlight is the second code release, Testnet Alpha, which is coming out later this month in June. But just before we get to all of that, let's have a quick chat with the mastermind behind IOTEX's technology, the head of cryptography, Dr. Xing Xing Fen. We hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Alina, I'm the community manager here at IOTEX and today we have a special treat for you. I'm here with IOTEX's head of cryptography, Dr. Xing Xing Fen. Thanks for the introduction, Alina. I'm very excited here to share with our community about the research work we have done at IOTEX. Of course, and I'm sure that our community is very excited to find out more about our technological updates and June will be a big month for that. And what better way to start the month than with your paper on uh, the research that you have done on the lightweight uh, stealth addresses. And from what I know, you will be presenting at the International Conference on Blockchain exactly. later this month. Very exciting. But just before we dive into that, mm -hmm. can you tell us more on privacy and why is it so important in blockchain? Uh, actually, privacy is a very important concept in the security community. Uh, when we consider the blockchain, especially when we design the IOTEX blockchain, uh, our main focus is on the IoT applications, uh, where the multiple machines or smart, smart devices will communicate each, with each other to exchange data and value. Uh, we try to integrate the privacy enhancing technology into the blockchain to support the secure storage and the data transfer among the different devices. That's our uh, future mission. So now that it's clear why privacy is so important for blockchain and most public blockchains don't offer any full native privacy, how is IOTEX achieving this? Uh, actually, to achieve the full native privacy, uh, we, we have three components. Uh, first one is how we can protect the privacy of the sender. Uh, the typical technology is to use the ring signature. Uh, the, the second one is how to protect privacy for the receiver. So that's a, uh, that's why the steel address kicks in. And the third component uh, is how to provide the privacy for the transaction value, uh, which we usually use some kind of zero knowledge proof, like bullet proof. Uh, so today we, we will talk about more about the steel cell address. Uh, so actually we are working on the dual key version of steel cell address during the past months. When we look at the original DOK schemes, it's uh, already been widely used in other blockchain projects uh, like Monero. Uh, it's a very strong uh, scheme in terms of anonymity. However, we found uh, it might not be suitable for the IoT applications. So that's why we adapt the original scheme to the IoT application and came out the, the variants of the DOK version, particularly for the IoT. Uh, so this new uh, innovation, actually, when we test it on the embedded platform, they can reduce the uh, computational overhead by around 50%. So 50% reduction of computational overhead is definitely very impressive, but give us a little bit more information why are we improving something that's already considered a state-of-the-art technology? Uh, of course, uh, the existing dual-key still still address technology actually works well in many blockchains, especially those blockchains full of the full-fledged computers. Uh, however, when I look at the details uh, for this protocol design, while they provide very strong anonymity, uh, it does require the blockchain nodes, especially receivers, to constantly monitor the blockchain and compute the uh, 
compute the, the address in order to match what they uh, try to receive. Uh, so in this case, uh, for the IoT uh, applications, uh, which means it will drain the power for IoT devices significantly because all the smart devices need to constantly monitor the blockchain. Uh, that's the motivation uh, I try to propose some more lightweight solution. Uh, the lightweight design, design basically you need to make trade-offs among security, performance, and the power consumption. Okay. So I using the similar technology uh, as the TLS resum session is resumption uh, to adapt the existing protocols to the IoT application. Uh, that's uh, basically how we achieve the uh, performance improvement uh, and the power saving for the IoT device. Uh, we are going to release uh, release a paper in the public uh, domain very soon, and uh, I encourage encourage the community to read the paper and uh, send us uh, feedback. So I'm sure your speech in Seattle later this month will be a great success. Tell us in the community, can we expect any more updates from the technical team? Okay, uh, the design of the SteelC address is uh, only our first step to innovate in the blockchain domain. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, June will be a very exciting uh, month yes. for us. Uh, over the next few weeks, we are going to release our yellow paper, uh, which will describe our in-house design uh, for our consensus protocols called Rotipos, uh, which is basically a randomized version of delegated uh, proof stake schemes. Uh, another milestone we will reach is, uh, is that we are going to release our testnet alpha, which will incorporate our innovation and, uh, yeah, for example, the roadie into the testnet. I would like to thank Dr. Feng for being here with us today. Thank you so much for finding the time. We know how busy you are. And along with our tech releases, we will also be having a lot of various community reward programs uh, for our valued and dear community members. So make sure to stay tuned, sign up to our official channels and pages, and we will see you next time.